What's up everybody? How you guys doing? Just wanted to show you the current conditions right now at Bear because Bear has been closed down again. I'm pretty sure they were open for a couple days. But uh, I mean, look at this. This is just, it's kind of eerie actually. It kind of feels like the end of the season type of, uh, type of stuff. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry we're not getting much snow right now, but it will come. I promise you, it will come. To all of you who have purchased merchandise, congratulations and thank you. I appreciate it. Um, just so cool. Like, I, I can't wait to see you guys wearing some, uh, some of this stuff. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's going to be really cool. But yeah, <laughs> we're just here cruising on. One of my favorite runs here, even though it's not much of a crazy run. It comes from way up there and goes up that direction. I think parts of it are blue. I've always referred to it as green diamond, blue diamond, and black diamond, but I think it's green circle, blue square, and black diamond. But this is... This is sad, you guys. I mean, we're almost a third of the way through December, and these poor resorts are closed. Or well, not resorts, but this one. The beautiful bear. Look at these beautiful. These things are monsters. Again, it's just really eerie out here. Snow Summit is open, you guys. So get your buns up here and come have a good time. Our town needs you guys. Never forget. I always tell you guys, without you guys, none of us get to live here. You guys mean everything to us. And trust me, I don't want to move back down to Newport. Not for any reason. Unless I can, can get a beach house. But, uh, you know, that's, that's when those, those statements come into play when you say, what do you see when you close your eyes? Nothing. <laughs> that's, that's the way I feel about that. I mean, this is something... As I said, I believe Bear was open for a couple days. But that's it. If I had my skis with me, we would probably ski down this thing real quick. Actually, I'd probably want to ask permission first. It is probably something they don't want you doing but in the summertime you can at least I think you can walk all over this area Yeah, guys, our town really needs your support. I love this town. This town has done a lot for me, especially in the emotional realm. It's made me feel welcome and, uh, and wanted. Not that Newport Beach didn't. You know, that's my hometown. That's where I'm from, but... I'll tell you what, the places I felt the most loved were places I didn't grow up. Like when I lived in Denver for two years, 
I used to go skiing every Wednesday up in the mountains there because our boarding school would take us there. And then when I was a year older, when I was 16, I got sent to a rehab center in Utah just for the green stuff. Like I wasn't a bad kid, but I felt loved by everyone out there. Did some skiing in Utah as well. tend to feel like you own the place when you're here without anybody. So again, this is one of the kitty runs right here. One of the main kitty runs. The one I was referring to, that's my favorite. That's where this chairlift takes you. I'm not one of those crazy dudes who likes to take Geronimo. Even though I, I, I thought of myself as a decent skier when I was a lot younger, I never liked taking any black diamonds. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you guys an embarrassing story because you are my family. When I was... Uh, I can't remember if it was Copper Mountain or Keystone or Loveland. It was one of those three in Colorado. I uh, I went up to the top of a black diamond and uh, half or not halfway, about ten feet down, I decided to fall on purpose and just sit there. And I was too scared to move, so I I yelled at someone on the chairlift to send some help. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And ski patrol came and rescued me. Cause I was even worried about uh, skiing or sliding on my butt. Cause I knew I was gonna start getting out of control. So I, I had my poles dug in. I learned this technique when I got sent to another program when I was 13 called Outward Bound when you're sliding down ice and snow, how to dig your um, pickaxe thing into the snow properly so you can stop. The person didn't even see me. I was waving there. But yeah, that's what I was doing with my uh, with my ski poles, I can't, and I can't remember which which resort that was. There was a second time that I had to get rescued by ski patrol. The other time I decided to jump off the lift. And I believe that time, oh my gosh, I can't even remember. That was either Vail or Copper Mountain for sure. I can't even remember. But I landed wrong and I thought I broke my broke my leg. But I didn't break my leg. I just thought I did and it scared me. So ski patrol had to come and rescue me and then they uh, <clears throat> funny enough I got a warning. Because the chair was stopped for like 15 minutes. And I saw someone else, a couple other people jumping out. So I thought, you know what? It's a lot of fresh snow. It should, should, should be fine. And uh, it wasn't, but I got a warning. Usually they'll like, I guess kick you out for stuff like that. 
So you, you gotta remember, I was only 15. But this is one of the reservoirs where they get the water to blow snow. And I believe they have some sort of a massive pump that pumps it up from, uh, from the lake. I think they have another one or two here. And at Snow Summit, there's one like at the very top, I believe. But yeah, this is, this is my favorite run here. So many great memories. This is where I learned to ski, you guys. Right here. In 1990, when I was 10 years old. I think uh, that might be security. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. If I am, I apologize. Again, some of our massive snow makers. are so expensive and we have them everywhere up here what great technology it really is great technology they can actually make the type of snow that they choose either a very dry rocky mountain champagne powder or the usual wet nasty socal snow we get we had some permission to take the car out here yeah you guys right here is where so many people learn how to ski you got to remember the population of our uh, Southern California here is just epic and so many so many people learn to ski right here This parking lot where we parked is usually where the uh, crew who makes the snow come and park. This is where I used to work at 
this resort and I miss it a lot. I miss it so much, you guys. But ever since I left here, while I was working here, I still had my business that I was building up. But after my first year here, my business was doing for me what this place was doing for me in terms of being able to pay my bills. So I decided that I'm gonna do my own thing. But I'll tell you what, I really, really miss it. I'm just gonna sit here for just, just a moment and just be quiet for like two or three minutes. Just point the camera around because I know I talk too much. We're actually going to take a little walk down here again. We're going to go a little further though. This time of year you don't have to worry about snakes, you guys. God, this place holds such a beautiful peace in my heart. Such, such nostalgia. This was back when all my siblings, when we all got along great like like it was like they were my favorite people all all six of my older siblings now i struggle but it's not easy when uh your family constantly makes you the scapegoat of everything Again, once I started my business, became fully self-reliant and give back to my mom, which my all my siblings are 10 and a half plus years older than me. And I'm, I believe, one of two siblings who actually gives back to my parents. And now they can't say much, but they do anyway. My mom always told me, Nick, the best revenge, even though you never want revenge, is to be successful. And that'll silent the critics, usually. Not saying I'm successful, but in my family, it's not a lot of self-reliance. I, I do have a sister who's an ER doctor. A brother of mine owns like a computer programming and software company. Um, does very well and But the four others, very smart. One of my sisters is in the real estate field and worked for my mom for many, many years. Another sister has like two or three doctorates, but has always struggled financially for some reason. I don't know why.
she was or maybe still is a teacher but again these are people who are always running their mouths disparaging me as I said I'm, I'm ten and a half years younger than anyone else in my family I have siblings who are in their 60s you guys in their 60s Forgot we gotta walk uphill. But I know I'm not alone with uh, siblings who, who give you crud. You just gotta do the best you can in life. Be as generous and giving as you can in life. Treat others how you wanna be treated. Just the basic, simple, golden rule. Don't take any guff from anybody. And just work hard. Because I'll tell you what, that's, that's one of the greatest feelings is working hard. You know, you work a long, hard day and earn that money that comes in, it feels good. And no one can ever take your work ethic away from you. They can take a lot of things away from you, but they can't take away your soul. And they can't take away... Well, I guess they could take away your will, but... <laughs> Oh, it's got to be a pretty serious situation for that. I don't know if you guys can see that little shack just to the right of that green chairlift. Let's see here if I can zoom in on it. There's a little shack on that walkway, that boardwalk area. That was the, that's the main barbecue. And that's the one that I used to work at all the time. I loved it. And it was really cool because this was maybe five or six seasons ago and people still recognized me from, from this channel. It was so cool. Lots of the people that I I worked with were like, who the heck are you, man? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I can't believe like people actually recognize me. Because when I was working here, I think I only had like 500 subscribers, maybe a thousand, but I thought that was a lot of subscribers, especially for what I'm doing. Can't believe how we've grown, you guys. And together, all the relationships that I've made with you guys, it's just been spectacular. It's been so life-saving for me. Hopefully someday I can make this my full-time job. But those of you trying to start a YouTube channel, I'm telling you what, do it like I did. Don't expect any money. But that was like the last thing that I possibly could have thought would ever ever happen and it still doesn't happen often but even a dollar you guys is way better than no dollars and if you're doing what you're passionate about you can't lose you just can't I decided for the first time in my life to seek happiness before chasing that dollar and this channel was a way for me to get through all my severe depression and I know some of you get it. For me, when it snows outside, or just being in the snow, especially when it's gray and cloudy and snowy, and it makes me feel so good. It is just the best antidepressant I've ever experienced in my entire life. That's why I started this channel. That's why I moved up here, you guys. I moved up here because uh, just over nine, nine years ago, and that was when I was, 
I was just about two years sober from alcohol when I moved up here. But I had to get away from all the negativity and and the hate from Orange County when it comes to my family. Not my mom and dad. Always been super supportive, but I had to get away. And I never thought I'd find a place to possibly live up here because it's a resort town. You would assume that it's very expensive, right? No. When I got here in 2015, I found my place. It's 550 a month. Like in a perfect location too. Small little two-story place. And ever since I moved here, prices have skyrocketed everywhere. But for some reason, thankfully, my rent has been kept down. But yeah, I moved here simply for the snow. Not for the mountain, not for the lake, not for the people. Just so I could help myself and try to fix myself emotionally and the only way that I knew how was being in the snow and playing in the snow. And funny enough, I've never missed a single snowstorm since I've lived here. And even crazier, when I started this channel, I couldn't afford any thumb drives either. And I realized after the first storm that there's no way I'm gonna be able to save all these videos because my cell phone doesn't have enough room. And I thought, you know what? I'll put them on YouTube because I'll, I can keep them in the cloud for free. And that's what I did. That is what I did. And it asked me if I wanted to make the videos public. At first I didn't want to because I thought everyone would make fun of me for driving around being so excited to be in the snow. But then I really thought about it and realized that a lot of people probably suffer just like me. And if the snow makes me feel like this, I am human, we are very similar, maybe it'll help someone else. And you know what, it sure has. And that's something you can never take away from me either. Even if it's just one life, the impact you have on, on someone else's life in a positive way is probably the most important thing in life because this planet is hard to deal with. And if you can give someone else some happiness and joy and peace and a different outlook on things, which changes their whole existence, then you're going on the right path. I've received some pretty amazing compliments about this channel and how it's impacted people's lives like I it's I never would have imagined that it would have had that impact you guys so as I was saying just try to do what you're passionate about seek the happiness and if it was meant to be you'll be able to pay your bills down the road. I've been doing this nine years, still not at that point yet, but I'm very obsessive about this channel. I love doing it. I would think another five years and I might be able to get my basic necessities covered through the channel, which would be wunderbar. Anyway, you know what, here's some more snow, snow machines. These are kind of the, not the more advanced full on machines or maybe it is, but these things blow snow as well. And again, these are everywhere you guys.
Anyway, there's my beast right there. Thank you guys for always listening. Thank you for cruising. I have a great time doing this with you guys. Don't forget, again, we have the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com website open and ready for y'all. Get your Christmas gear. Um, these are the only beanies that we don't have on the website. We have other beanies. These are the original beanies that I, the first item I ever had for you guys on this channel. And if you guys want one of these, they're 100% fine merino wool. They're as nice as they get. I got the idea from my my Gucci beanies, which I was it was ridiculous that I spent 400 bucks each on these couple beanies, but I found a company that would make the exact beanie, same fabric, same everything, for a lot less than four, the, the $400, but I don't know why I did that. Cause I still sell them for 70 bucks. I was going to offer 60 bucks through the holidays because each beanie cost me 35 bucks. It's got a real leather patch, really nice leather patch. These are the finest, 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 like most ridiculous. And even our other beanies, our knit beanies are super, super nice. I should have just gone with those originally, but I still have some of these. I'd like to get rid of them. Um, I've got the ones with the original logo color, also the black and white um, for the leather patch. And uh, yeah, just wanted you guys to know that these are still available. If you want one of these, just contact me directly. Either leave a comment and I will respond with my email address so we can get that situated privately. So you can send me your address and, and stuff like that. And, and I'll always ship out the same day. Um, the flat rate shipping is $9.94. Usually if you're in California, you get it the next day. So as I said, I'll, I'll be doing a discount for the rest of the holidays at 60 bucks. Again, you guys, if you look up hundred percent fine Merino wool at any department store, you're not going to pay any less than 200 bucks just for a a, a basic one maybe 150 if you're lucky but yeah i really don't want to leave i'm, I'm home here but guys please get cross your fingers Cross everything. Let's hope to get some snow. I don't see anything on the radar anytime soon. It's a bit scary. However, the year that I started, that, that, that I had, that I worked here, opening day was Christmas Eve. So we still have uh, time, but I just don't like it when the snow doesn't come too, too soon. When we have to wait for it, because our town takes a major hit. We need you guys coming up here spending money and having a great time and creating what you know beautiful lifelong memories so you'll come back we love you guys i'm always here for you guys i've been able to meet an awful lot of you which has been freaking awesome if you guys ever do want to meet up just so i can shake your hand and say hello send me an email without you guys this channel's nothing i always do my best to make time for y'all So don't hesitate. I know I'm nothing special. I'm not trying to sound like it's special to meet me because it's not. It's you guys who's special. I like to meet you guys. All right. We're out of here. Thanks again for hanging with me today, you guys. As I said, pray for some snow. And if you like what I do, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Even share the videos on your Facebooks, Instagrams and stuff. Share the channel. Um, I'd like to see this channel grow. Uh, 
because I decided once I got married that, you know what, I am gonna focus on that. You guys will notice for the first seven and a half years in about 2,500 to 3,000 videos, I never asked you guys once to hit like or subscribe. Never, not once in, in, in almost 3,000 videos because I didn't care about that. I just wanted to uh, have an outlet for my uh, depression and stuff like that. And you guys were very receptive to that. But once I got married, this woman, she deserves everything that I can possibly do to give us the best life. And that's when I started asking for likes and subscribes just over a year ago. So please do that for me. I've been really working hard at this for a long time. And uh, let's all get together sometime. Let's do a, a little ski trip together. I would love to do that, something. But again, thank you guys for everything. Really are no words for me to really express how I feel about you all. You guys are, are my family, are my life, are everything. My only real friends I have on this planet are you guys. And a couple of you have truly become like super close friends where we hang out together. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful blessing. And you guys are beautiful people with beautiful souls. Thank you for everything you do. All the help that you guys send my way helps big time. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I love you guys very much. Until next time, we're signing out from Bear Mountain. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.